Welcome back to another Full Stack podcast. Welcome back to another Full Stack podcast where we put you in the seat of power over your own life and circumstances by interviewing people who have done exactly that. Today I'm interviewing Eric from Eric Med. Uh, he helps people pass the uh, MCAT uh, medical entrance exam. And uh, he's been running that uh, tutoring business for a, a, a little while now, and he's had some dramatic success lately. Uh, and I pick his brain to find out what's going on. Uh, but before we do, if you don't know me already, I'm Chris West, and I work with people who are feeling stuck or frustrated in their lives to help them reignite that spark of motivation and discover what it's like to live with passion and excitement again. My goal is to help you become a catalyst, for you to become something that by your very nature causes the world to change around you. Without any further delay, is Eric. How, how did this all start for you? This whole MCAT tutoring business, everything? Yeah, the, well, I mean, you started with the MCAT for a couple of years, is that right? Yeah, I've been in this for, I would say, one and a half to two years. This MCAT wow. tutoring, just local over here where I'm at. Um, yeah. Tutoring my classmates. You know, I scored really well in the MCAT, so my classmates would always come and ask me for help. Yeah, cool. And, yeah, but I was charging very, very cheap prices. You know, I was, yeah. I was doing it for free in the beginning. And I was just yeah. charging very, very cheap prices. And then I kept yeah. doing it and people kept asking me and asking me. And then they told me, hey, Eric, you know, you should go online to this website. So it's called Wisent, this website. And like, you can search up tutors on this website. Yeah, so I yeah, made yeah. an account there, made an account and already had people emailing me. And I was like, okay, how can I make this a little bigger? Yeah. Went on YouTube, started posting videos. Yeah. Okay. I started posting like vlog videos and then this other video about a review about, you know, the test prep company. And yeah. then I did another video about how to, you know, answer the MCAT questions. I did another vlog video. So I was like all over the place. Yeah. So I, I, I decided to like finally narrow down. I was like, okay, you know, the MCAT tutoring videos are doing really well. So I'm just going to stick to that. Yeah. And I kept posting on YouTube. People kept asking me. I was like, all right. Then I had no idea what type of offer to make anything like that and then yeah. that's when you know sign up for 10 game and then that, that helped me kind of cool. put all these that, pieces together yeah and that's that's helped you narrow down and structure your your process better and obviously uh to uh deliver the product a little bit more smoothly uh you know charge a little bit more than what you were before and make it a bit more worthwhile for yourself too yeah definitely yeah, yeah. and so uh, do you mind for us how old are you man 22 22 incredible 22. <laughs> And uh, so let me clarify, the MCAT is a medical entrance exam. Is that what it is? Yeah. So I, I don't know much about this at all, so you'll have to fill in the gaps for me, man. Yeah, medical college admission test. So anyone who wants to go to med school in the U.S. has to take this test. Got it, right. So this is pre-med school. This is an entrance into med school, and then you do your, your medical training in med school, and then you, you, you obviously do your, all your exams through there, and you qualify to be a medical practitioner, yeah? Yeah, everybody has to take the exam no matter what. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, it must be hard, right? Um, what what sort of prep do you need to do? I mean, just uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to give all your secrets away, but I mean, no, um, yeah. you must be pretty efficient at, at uh, I guess, information retention, study tactics, techniques, and things like that. Um, yeah. How did you get so good at all this sort of thing? Through a lot of trial and error, making so many mistakes. Okay. In the beginning of college, you know, I, in high school, back, we'll take it back to high school. Yeah. High school, everyone after high school, they all apply to colleges, try to get into these really good colleges, all that. High school, I didn't study at all. Like I partied, I, yeah. you know, I drank, I did whatever. <laughs> sure. I didn't care at yeah. all. You know, <laughs> I got into this okay college, barely anything. And then the first year of college, party, do whatever, didn't care. And then eventually I was like, I need to like focus on my future here. Like yeah. I need to find what I want to do. And so I went from literally scoring very, very well, like bad, scoring very bad in all my tests, partying around, not doing anything to, you know, kind of fixing my mindset, fixing how I study, learning how to learn, learning how to study, yeah. learning how to retain the information, going back to step one and just a lot of like, like a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears into these books, man, learning all this, doing the heavy lifting so I can help yeah. and make it easier for people that come to me and try to learn it. So like, for example, like yeah. this is, 
the content books that you have to know. Wow. This is like, you got to know everything. Yeah, it's this thick, and there's all these books inside of here. Okay? Yeah, I took them out here, but there's seven books. Okay, <laughs> there's seven books like this. Can, can you give me an idea of what sort of topics we've, we've got to cover in there? Because they're yeah. not just, it's not just like, you know, basic stuff either. This is highly complicated, no doubt. This is so yeah, this is like the physics and math books. We got physics. <laughs> Actually, I really I really enjoyed those subjects. The the, the yeah, biology physics, and there's physics, biology, general chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry, yeah, uh, psychology, sociology, like all these subjects all into one. So it's what, what was that second like, last one? Bi- biology. I don't even know what that is. It's a uh, biochemistry, oh. psychology, sociology, psychology. Um Wow, throw yeah. a bit of philosophy in as well. well in yeah, so there's a little bit of philosophy yeah. in there too. Wow. Just a little bit. Wow. That, actually, I'd be interested in that too. That's some pretty cool stuff. I like that. Um, and so, like the exam, tell me a little bit about that. Do, do you have to know everything in this? And you just, you know, maybe every exam is a little bit random and you don't know what you're going to get? Or is there a pretty good idea that you'll get certain questions from certain books on the big subjects in there? Or could it be really like... So, you know, yeah, so basically they tell you study all those books and you have no idea what you're going to get in the exam. So not only do you have to know all those books, when you take the exam, they give you these passages that you've never seen before about like research passages, very in depth. And you have to analyze a research passage and answer questions from the study that you did here. So you don't know what to expect on that test. Wow. It's very, yeah. So in, you not only have to know the knowledge and be able to repeat it, but you have to be able to think on the fly and integrate it as you go to. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so how much, how much actual knowledge did you gain from your, um, I don't know what the, the, the names of this, the schooling levels are in America, but uh, from, from, I guess, high school uh, and your, your pre, um, uh, your pre-education, how, how much information did you learn about the chemistry, the science, you know, the physics, all that sort of stuff that was applicable? Like, did you need to re- remember everything in the book? In yeah. The so the college courses that you're beginning, they help you with the test. So they're yeah. not specifically for the test. It's just a general yeah, yeah. overview of like yeah. chemistry, you know? Yeah. yeah, they, help yeah. You. they help you, but you forget it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's going back to your freshman year, of, like college. Oh, I see. You take yeah. your senior year. So you have to think back four years ago when I learned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And Man, the test is, is like, the test is eight hours long. You sit down for eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> eight hours long. All in one go. I, yeah. Wow. Look, and I guess in, um, uh, in the medical industry, depending on what field you're in, I suppose, there's a good chance even with, you know, especially with your training at the start, you'll be doing some pretty long shifts to, to learn the skills. That, you know, if you're in uh, your hospital or a nursing environment or emergency room or something like that, I think. Yeah. If I if my my uh, my experience watching a medical programs on TV is accurate at all, <laughs> that's about all I know. <laughs> yeah. the, the diseases are accurate, but the stories and the yeah, uh, like Grey's Anatomy. The I loved how that, that guy was funny. Yeah. <laughs> had so much attitude. Yeah, <laughs> these are accurate, but those, those they're so dramatic. It's, it's insane. Yeah, it's funny. It's it's very entertaining to watch. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And so, whereabouts are you gonna are you gonna take this? You, you're obviously skilled with the medical knowledge. You're teaching other people how to do this yourself. Are you in med- medical school now as well? No, so I'm going to do this for a year, yep. build this up, and I want to hire some tutors as well. Yeah. You know, so this yeah. way it's not just me. Hire tutors, take on more people, let this grow. Yeah, grow. smart. So, yeah, so eventually I'm just, you know, overseeing everything, overseeing the tutors Yeah. yeah. while I am in med school, and then I'll be a doctor and all that. That's fantastic. So, yeah, next, next year I'm applying to med school. Cool. And so I guess when you get to med school as well, you'll have opportunities to help people through that training as well. If you're, uh, you know, if you wanted to grow f- from the entrance exam to, you know, then consequent uh, exams. Oh, yeah. 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 I was thinking about doing that as well, too. You know, yeah. In the future, also USLME step one, USMLE step two, all these other exams. Board, yeah. I could do that as well. You know, Eric Med can also grow into these exams as well. <laughs> Oh, that's and so that's where people will find you, Eric Med. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Eric yeah. Med. That's so, what you do, yeah. like, so that's uh, do you have a you got a website? You got a 
a YouTube channel with some videos on, on how to get started and things like that? Yeah, yeah, on my YouTube, just search up YouTube, Eric Med, and then you'll see my videos there. You'll see like how to answer MCAT questions, the schedule, all that stuff. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Um, yeah. So I, I'm going to dive a little bit further into the, the business development side of things, man. Um, because I'm curious from, uh, you know, you, you and I share the same platform in the same, uh, you, you know, in the, in the 10 game uh, coaching course. Um, how long have you been, uh, you know, working on that model? Working on, um, on, on building your business using that structure or that, that, uh, or that process, the 10 game process. Oh, I would say since November, mid November. So, yeah. one two like two months two and a half months of using that yeah and uh during that time you've um uh you know you you've had some previous um uh sorry i just had a mental blank um your let's see I, this is why i'm not in med school <laughs> 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 um You've been uh, coaching other people on, on this training for a while, but now you're coaching people using uh, this new platform and delivering your coaching services in a new way. What's different now uh, to what you were doing before? Okay, yeah. So before I was doing just a, I was doing like per month, but so like one month cost, I mean, for example, I'll say like one month cost $500, two months of tutoring uh, I'll give you a discount. So it's going to be $800 and then three months of tutoring. Since you're doing three months, I'm going to give you another discount from there. So I'm going to yeah. lower the price. It's going to be an extra session here. And you're going to get an extra session over here on this week. And as well, you're going to, you're going to get access to my number. So you can text me as well. And yeah. if you want to do a checkup on this day and I'll lower the price by this much. So it was very, like a lot of options for the customer. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. If they want yeah. To do this, or this, if they want to save money here. And then I noticed that a lot of customers, they would go through all the options and they'd get a little confused and they'll be like, okay, like next person, I'm just going to try to, you know, price check him with another MCAT tutor, somebody yeah. else. Yeah. And so yeah. that's what I noticed was happening to me a lot. Also, like I was working so many hours, you know, just for a little bit of money, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was work not only do I have to tutor, but I also have to review the stuff that I'm doing as well. You know, so I can always be on point when I teach someone like biochemistry oh, and biology. Yeah. yeah. So that was the price I was offering back then is like just straight tutoring, one-to-one -one session. And now I offer a program. Like I built a program. And in that program, I'll teach, I'll have like videos on the schedule. I have a video on like how to study for real, like how to actually retain the information, how to understand the information. Yeah you know, how to take the practice test, how to know the MCAT traps, how to read the questions, all these things that I would tell in a one-to-one -one session, I put it all in video format on a program. So this way it was easier for me that they could just go and go to the program. Yeah, and you can deliver it all in one place. Now, you just said something interesting. You said an MCAT trap. Is that some kind of trick question that they throw? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty, yeah, the, that's pretty sneaky. Yeah, the MCAT, they'll throw traps at you. And the questions, they'll try to like... Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're basically trying to like poke you and see if you're confident in your answer. They'll put two uh, answer choices really yeah. similar together to see, hey, yeah. like, are you confident in your answer choice? Let's see. So that's a common trap that they do the way they yeah. heard it. Now, you also said something about how to um, how to understand the information that, you, uh, that you're reading. That's an interesting one for me because, um, you know, of course – a lot of, um, I guess, the old school sort of teaching strategies, you know, times tables or, you, you know, periodic table, or whatever, they just like memorize this, okay? But obviously with those things, there's a, there's a high level of understanding that goes with those so that you can uh, integrate it into your field of, you know, understanding in a way that makes sense so that it's applicable and then you can use it dynamically in the world. I hope I said that in a, in a way that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so is, uh, is there a style of uh, study that will help facilitate that, that you can, that you can share or that you teach? What do you mean you, by a style of study? Like well, okay, I mean, you said, you said you help people learn how to understand the material. How do you do that? Okay, so I have to, well, the way they've been studying for exam after exam, usually people that come to me, 
they're doing something wrong in their studying. Right. Okay. Right. Like there's, there's so many ways that people try to learn how to study. They try flashcards. They try to like, you know, go 40 minutes on and then 30 minute yeah. break. Yeah. They'll try to rewrite the notes, you know, thinking that that's going to help them memorize it. Yeah. You know, they'll try all these different things. Okay. And when I ask them a question, like a simple question would be like, okay, what is glycolysis, you know, citric acid cycle, electron transfer chain? Okay, like all those things. I'll ask them that. I think I understood one of those words, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask them that. And they'll be like, uh, one of them is when your blood glucose is low. And then they wouldn't understand the question that I'm saying. Like they will, they're not, they just memorize. They try to yeah. memorize, mem so, memorize. Yeah. And so that question is an integrated question with like three different components that they work together in some way. And so that, uh, so they need to understand that broader, broader picture. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how, I mean, I don't want to get too much into details, but no, that's no, no, how, no. yeah, that's how the human body works. Everything's integrated. Yeah. It's in, 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 interrelated, isn't it? Yeah. Your circulatory systems with your endocrine system, your hormones travel in your blood, your blood travels, eventually gets filtered. It goes back to your heart, goes to your brain, your brains, your nervous system controls your nerves. If your brain can't work, it doesn't have accurate with blood supply, all this all integrated. So you have to understand yeah the body you can't just memorize 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 right. so it's only gonna get you so far it's gonna get you that you know 510 score 528 is like the best score the perfect score it's gonna get you like a 510 it's not gonna get you the 527s 526 mm. that's why i kind of do that yeah and so what did you score when when you did your test and what are your students scoring are they scoring similar i scored a 524 which is in the 0.1 percent so like wow that's pretty yeah. high. <laughs> yeah, and it's very, student, very nice. Yeah, man, you're supposed <laughs> yeah. to be proud. That's clever. And no doubt from going from partying all the time to studying your ass off. Um, uh, let me just clarify. Uh, let me just ask again, what, what, are you, what sort of levels are your students achieving? Are they somewhere similar to that? And they're very happy with the results, obviously. The, a lot of them, um, it depends what school they want to go to. So like some of them, if you want to be a surgeon, you have to have like the really, really high score. So they'll go for that. Of course, yeah. it's going to take more work. Some people just want to be a regular practitioner, family doctor. So yeah. you, you could use like a little less score. You don't need that high of a score. Yeah. So it, it varies, but they all hit their target score. Like the score they want to hit that they need to, they'll get it, you know. Good. Yeah, I get that. So you, you can tailor the program to their needs to make sure that they're on track for getting the results they need. Um, yeah. that's, that's pretty clever to be able to, um, uh, to gauge how they're going and what score they'll get uh, as they go based on their knowledge. Um, now I'm going to backtrack a little bit because I'm curious. Um, you went, and this is probably more applicable uh, to the audience that I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll be sharing this with. Um, you said you went from, you know, a college student going out partying all the time, which is a rite of passage, man. I absolutely, uh, I wish I could go back and do that again. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the years are catching up on me, man, and it's it's tough to, to get away with that these days. So, but what uh, what inspired you to change your mind and uh to lead a different style of life and really put your head down and get the job done um it was let's see i remember during college when i was partying drinking all this stuff you know smoking weed you know mm. trying to be cool all this stuff um i always felt like there was something more like there was something missing in me you know like yeah. i as soon as i as soon as i realized like that this partying and this drinking and this you know doing these low-level behaviors you know porn all this stuff yeah yeah as soon as i realized that that is not bringing me as nearly as close fulfillment as working on something and building you know yeah. a business helping people inspiring people as soon as i realized that like hey this partying this drinking it's, it's, it gives you like this little bit of happiness. It's not even happiness. It's like fake happiness. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's a short-term so, gratification, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it gives you yeah. short-term gratification. It's not real. As yeah. soon as I realized that this is not real and that working, you know, learning about the human body, learning about science, yeah. you know, getting into the world, inspiring others, as soon as I saw how good this feels, mm. I was like, wait a minute, like, this is all wrong. <laughs> like, mm. this low-level behavior, is, that's, that's not a true fulfillment, you mm. know? I'm like, am I really going to live my life like just yeah. keep doing all these things? Like yeah. over here, this side so much better, you know. And so, and do you ever get do you ever get tempted to go back to that lifestyle, or even just to go back and see uh, how the people? You, I mean, you maybe still know some of these guys. I imagine. What's what's yeah. that sort of like? 
yeah i mean i'm still 22 so of course yeah, you know, they're, still, yeah they're still gonna they're still gonna message me they message me all the time like, hey eric let's go to this bar you know i got these a bottle here i got tequila let's go eric. wow let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh they're the good okay. old days <laughs> And so, yeah, that's what it gets to me. So that doesn't get to me, but it no. is one thing that I feel like I'm sacrificing in a way, you know? Yeah. Well, look, uh, I mean, I, I you know, I'm, I'm almost twice your age. I think I'm, I'm 45. Um, but uh, I can say uh, with confidence that you can absolutely still have a good time, man, without having to do uh, too much crazy stuff. I think getting a little bit crazy is absolutely fine. <laughs> Not too much crazy. Um, yeah. Because you know you got to have uh, a bit of uh, uh, I hate I hate the phrase, but you got to have a bit of balance in your life. Well, you've got to you've got to have a bit of a way to stop and appreciate you know the, the achievements that you've made as you go along. Now, that's that's my take on it anyway. Um, and whether that means going to the movies and buying a big bag of popcorn, it's not a bottle of tequila, so it's probably you know, still wake up with a with a hangover because of all the salt and everything. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also heard you say uh, that one of the one of the things you get out of this is being able to uh, to help other people and in, and motivate and encourage other people, inspire other people. I think is what you said. Um, has that also has that always been a character trait of yours? Yeah, it yeah. has. It's always been a little like every time with my friends, they always say, "Hey, Eric, like you, you kind of motivate me to to work and do all these things." You know. Yeah, that's good. It, yeah, it, it's always been a little insp- inspiring thing. Like I've always not necessarily been like a, a really dominant leader in my life, mm-hmm. but I've noticed that people would see my work ethic and kind of go along with it. Take yeah. notes, ask me for advice. And, you know, I was that mm-hmm. person usually most of the time. That's I think that's what they probably call a good bedside manner to some degree, isn't it? You, you just have uh, that sense or that air of confidence uh, and, and ability, uh, which is comforting. Um, and I guess, uh, you know, that's, that's a very good quality for somebody who wants to teach, uh, teach others as well. Um, I've always found I have a bit of that, uh, uh, empathy style of, uh, approach as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's something we, maybe we have in common. I'm certainly not, uh, doctor level. <laughs> no, I, I can see it. I can definitely see it in you. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, I could see the the uh, inspiration following towards you. You know. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, nice <laughs> yeah. yeah. no, look, and I've always been interested. I think one of the subjects you were saying one of those books is about the the philosophy, the psychology, uh, and then imagine all of the medical side of things, the neurobi- neurobiology, as well. Although that's that's probably well over my uh, over my head. Um, it's still very interesting. Um. So where to next, man? You, you've got this set up uh, and uh, you've been having success, uh, some success uh, bringing in some more students recently. You're still in the process of developing your delivery and, uh, and, and your marketing message and so on. Um, where are you up to with all that? You see, I think you mentioned in the, the, uh, the message to me just a moment ago, you said you still have heaps stuff. Heaps to get through. I've still got so much to get through. <laughs> Must be pretty busy. Oh, I still have the program. I still have like, there's an outline I have. I still have, I would say like six phases to do. So that's around yeah. like 24, 25 videos I'm going to put for that. And then I still have, um, I still have the accountability questions you know, mm-hmm. similar to the program we're in, the 10 game yeah. program we're in, how it's like a type form. I have to, I want to introduce that into the program as well. Um, I still have to eventually, you know, hire a tutor, look for tutors to hire and see how much yeah. I'm going to pay them, see how much it's coming in, all the money tracking, all that stuff. And, yeah. and then I got to see, you know, if I should apply to med school next year, if I should wait another one, see how the business is going by then. Yeah. Yeah, well, it should be a very good vehicle to hit, uh, you know, to to keep your income, um, you know, steadily coming in and growing while you're spending your time studying. So you don't have to worry too much about that sort of thing. You can focus on your study, and obviously that'll lead you to a better result uh, for yourself in med school as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, um, honestly, like it's it's all happening very soon. 
you know, it's happening. <laughs> like, it just, yeah. like, I wasn't expecting this. Like, four or five months ago, I was not expecting this at all. Yeah. That's um, fantastic. Now, I, I haven't seen your um your YouTube channel. I think, I just if you don't mind, I'll just quickly look it up while I'm sitting here. And it was called Eric Med? Yeah. So, E-R-I-C-K-M-E-D. There it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's auto slower play. That's sweet. <laughs> and so, that's incredible. Man, I love it. You, I mean, your uh, target market um, must be, you know, very specific, isn't it? That's that's probably one of the keys for what's what's going on here. There's only one MCAT exam. There must be a bunch of tutors. I imagine your competition is is fairly solid, but what sets you apart from the rest of them? What makes you, what makes people come to you? It's because I was not, um, I was not brought up with a, you know, uh, a family doctor in my family. Okay. Usually, you know, the people that do struggle with the MCAT, okay. Yeah. They're usually somebody that didn't have a doctor in the family. They weren't necessarily like, See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phrase it like this, like a lot of people that are going into the medical field, all this stuff, you know, the majority of people going in, they have been, they have parents that tell them like from the beginning, oh, you know, I see. high yeah. school, like, hey, you're going to be a doctor, study like this, study hard, study hard, you're going to be a doctor, study like this, I was a doctor, so you're going to be a doctor, so study like this, this is how you do it. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. And they were very smart from high school. 4.0 GPAs, going to Harvard, going to Yale, yeah, a lot yeah, of these yeah. great schools, and they had yeah. easy ride, exactly step by step how to get there. Yeah. So you got a very good head start by the sound of things. Um, yeah, I'd imagine that you know, obviously having a parent or, or a relative who's uh, in the field already would be a massive boost because you know somebody to ask, you know, what do I do? How does this work? What does what does that mean? Or something. Um, yeah, but now that's you for for everyone else. Yeah, that's me because they they look at my story and they get inspired. They're like. Eric went from scoring like 3.0 GPA, very low grades, very bad, did not do anything. And then now he's over here teaching us like how to score well in the MCAT. Like, how did he do that? How did yeah. he do all that? And so yeah. they look at that and they're like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it as well. Yeah. You know? Now that's great because that's that's a very inspiring uh, story for somebody who maybe doesn't think they could do it and that'll help lift them up. And is your story, the introduction video here uh, on, on your channel? So I'd like to watch that. Mm, it's must be one of them there. on each each of these videos i mean some of these videos not all of them not the uh, passage breakdown ones i'll include like hey if i can do it you know you could do it as well yeah in the beginning of yeah. the videos and other mcat tutors like i said they they've always been smart you know i'm going to use like a stereotype here but they're the stereotypical like very smart you know mm. indian family all these indians yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so, no, i get it I get it. It's hard to relate to like them. So they relate to me better, these All students. Right. Um, and you've got quite a lot of videos here and you've been doing this since November. And I mean, these are they're like 20, 30 minute long. So a lot of these, uh, some of the shorter ones at the bottom here. Um, uh, which, which ones do you find have uh, the most impact on, on your visitors? So is, there, you know, is there something there that they should be watching that looks like uh, the best place to start or a... Uh, you know, a really impactful message from you? Yeah, so if you go to um, sort by and you go to the most popular one. Yeah. See this. The most popular one was... There it is. Like, yeah, one how I scored. Tips. Yeah. Yeah. That one, that one is very, very good. Yeah, and that's awesome. The other one, I have a little MCAT motivation. So... The, the students need some motivation sometimes. You know, it gets a little sad being in the same place, same basement, studying, letting life pass you by yeah. inside. You know, they need a little motivation sometimes. So I think that one's a good one to start with the motivation. Right. So I'm going to ask you a question. And uh, I mean, you've made all these videos. You've obviously spent all this time uh, studying yourself to get good and get these scores. Um, it must take a heck of a lot of motivation to, to yourself. Where do you draw your inspiration from to drive you forward? Yeah, so um, the motivation, when I used to rely on motivation like heavily, I would get 
some work done, but not, not be as efficient. You know? Yeah. It's, I mean, we learned this from the same person. Okay. I'm uh, sure learned this from the same yeah. Person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a tough okay. pill to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I learned that, then it was like straight grind every single day, no breaks, work, day in, day out, wake up, work, you know, have a break here and there, see my girlfriend, whatever, work, go to sleep, wake up, work, see my girlfriend, work, go to sleep. Yeah. And yeah, that was more of how I got all this done. Yeah. You know? I think that's what medical school's like. I think it's probably good preparation. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I just got my discipline up a lot. I just got my discipline up crazy yeah, high. Yeah. yeah. And what do you what do you do for fun otherwise? Um, you have hobbies and, and other skills that you like to practice. I like to play the guitar. I'm certainly not very good at it, but I, you know, it's just ripped out, you know, 10 minutes of Van Halen on, on, on the electric. Oh, you, <laughs> you can play Van Halen? I can play a little bit. <laughs> I played I when I was a kid, but I, I, I never got great at it. I just love to watch them because you can learn anything now. It's all on YouTube, man. You just look it up and say, I want to learn that song. And somebody will show you how to do it, which is incredible. Yeah, you could look up how to make a business and make great money and on YouTube, yeah. and some guy will teach you that. <laughs> yeah, and look, and there's that many ways to do it. There's no doubt. Um, and of course, obviously, we've we've got uh, we've got the same mentor who is teaching us the same method. And that's why I wanted to really ask you about these videos. And I mean, it's taken you must take some work to put these together, man. Oh, much, yeah, how, I know that it's not all that relevant because everyone's different, but how how long does it take you to make one of these? They, you know, there's like there's lots of uh, you know test questions on the screen here, just on the thumbnails. Um, oh yeah, the passages and all that. Yeah, yeah that's those are like pretty 20, intense stuff. Yeah, those are like 23, 25 minute videos. Yeah. And so that one that one I do live. So I'll hit record. If you look at it, it's not edited at all. I don't have any breaks or edits. You know, some of them I have the timer up to show you that I don't edit it at all. Oh, and I'll do it live. Yeah. And then I'll narrate over it saying like, what am I doing in this passage? How do I answer the questions? All that. Mm -hmm. But in order to get to the point where I could just do one session live 30 minutes, you know, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So much work of grinding through those books and studying and so i'm not able to mess up you know like oh uh, yeah yeah honestly for each video of that i would say two years <laughs> <laughs> two years to make a video like that oh uh, yeah <laughs> or, well, or no, no or you can just, yeah. or you can uh you know book a calendar link and then get tutored by me or you can go two years and learn all yeah that. well that's it why no don't do the two years go and uh go and hire eric uh, take the shortcut. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> wow. All right, man. Um, I think we'll wrap it up here, if you like, for the uh, for the public video. Um, is there anything you want to tell the guys before we um, before we, we dial it in? Yeah. So what I want to say to everyone here is, you know, it's if you want to go ahead and be full stack, you know, you have people to look up to you know you have like this channel that you're making okay you have the people that you're interviewing you know mm. you have all these resources online like literally anything that you want is in the grasp of your hand it just takes small wins after bigger win after bigger win okay and i would say the main driving force of me you know going from making this amount of money to making this amount of money now from changing my body finally getting a girlfriend all this stuff was it was like i don't want to sound like a I'm bragging or anything but oh to no, be, that's, that's uh, so what full stack. okay i don't yeah. know i mean i don't i don't know if i consider myself full stack maybe like a mini full stack <laughs> maybe a mini Man, just keep stacking keep stacking it doesn't end just yeah. keep going up <laughs> uh, i have like one or two boxes on top of each other yeah. <laughs> well you no, line about real world and you know you build a solid foundation there and you can build a bigger and bigger stack that magic so yeah, so the main important thing is just straight rationale, you know, just going for it. Yeah. You know, when I, yeah, when I would, um, the first deal I closed, the first 3000 that I made, I was, I was scared. I was, I don't know, I was yeah. nervous. I was yeah. saying that number out loud. I was shaking. I was like, the, the price is $3,000. Like saying that, I was like, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh man, that's a lot. I don't know if they could afford it. What's going to go on? You know, it's just jumping into the fire and doing it. Yeah. You know? What was the What was the response? And you've done you've um, 
you know, had a number of, uh, of sale call, sales calls now using this process. And what, what's been the response so far? So the first sales call I had, it was, I said, said the script. I said it was $3,000. Uh, they looked at me. They said, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, it is a lot, you know, but look at what you're getting, you know, and, you know, I understand that it's a lot of money. I do understand it's a lot of money. 3000 just like this, you know, not many people have it, but look at what you're getting and look what I can get you to do. You know, I can get yeah. you that score. You yeah. can be a doctor. 3000 is going to be nothing when you're a doctor. Don't even worry Isn't about it. it. <laughs> yeah. like I, Man, that, man, that frame, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, and do you get many, uh, many objections from, from people during that process? Yeah, I get all types of objections. I get the money. I get, okay, let me ask my parents for the money. Let me ask somebody. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, get, I'll get back to you. You know, is the, is the offer still up for the next week? You know, maybe in a week I'll get back to you. They'll say yeah. that, you know, they'll, they'll say all these objections. Yeah. And, and, uh, and how do you handle those sort of things? Um, do you pre preframe it uh, in a sense like, uh, you know, this is for people who can make a decision on the phone today. That's why we use a price incentive and so on. Is that, a, is that a method that you're using in your, in your calls? Like what type of method? I think um, it might have just been my memory from when uh, when I was going through the the sales call process uh, for Tenga. Uh, I remember uh, reading in the it might have been in the Calendly booking software that it's uh, it had a checklist of things that we had to to go through and it, and it said things like you know do you have a certain amount of money to invest you know because we only want to talk oh, to you you're yeah. serious and so on you know if you're not serious but you know you know, we're not going to waste the time on a phone call because, you know, at the end of the day, you've only got so many hours in the day. You don't want to be talking to every bloke, Joe Blow, who wants to have a chat. Yeah. So. yeah, I would, I would, I wouldn't put um, in my Calendly link, I didn't put like, oh, are you serious? Then fill out this. Before I wouldn't do that. And I would get a lot of Joe Blows yeah. wasting my time. And then yeah. I put it and then I'm like, okay, I got a little more serious people. Yeah, you know, good. Booking you're qualifying a bit better. That's good. Yeah. Um, and what are you, what are your goals over the next, uh, we'll say six months over the next six months, I would say I definitely want to do like a $35,000 a month. <laughs> I want to get, yeah, yeah. That's I definitely want to get up there. You know? and so what did you, um, you so far, is it this month that you've, um, you've worked over, uh, $12,000 in sales. Is that right? Yeah. Man, you're pretty close. You probably maybe make it this, this month. Uh, <laughs> you keep pushing, yeah, man. You're pretty close. <laughs> I want to. I want to hire somebody first. Just want to hire somebody and then you know close more, close more. Because it's a lot of work on me. You know, I'm still the only one that's tutoring. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. And so, what's involved with the tutoring? How do you qualify somebody to actually take over that part of the role? Uh, that's going to be. That's a good question. Yeah. I gotta. Yeah, I should ask my. I should ask our mentor for that as well. A little advice. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, in fact, I was looking at one of our other guys um, who's just posted a, uh, his first video and he started a, uh, a coaching service for people who wanted to start a lawn and maintenance sort of business. And I think his first video was uh, basically tackling that, uh, that issue um, where, you, you know, how do you decide who to hire when you first hire? Um, and, and what, what are their roles and what are their, uh, what are their duties? Um, so and obviously very different industry, but it's an interesting video. So it might have some insights for you, man. It's incredible yeah. how much, uh, how much knowledge and experience is in this group. It's only like 40 people. And it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Blowing me away. Um, I, yeah. I, I just hope I can contribute something to the guys I talk to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see the, I see the full stack growing. I see this yeah. going very, very, very huge. You know, I think it's a yeah. great move. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. If you're somebody watching this, if you're somebody watching this video, definitely hit the subscribe button because they're getting tons of value. They're getting some knowledge that millionaires know. Okay. So yeah, well, then that's the thing. I'm past I'm passing I'm not, I'm like a conduit for you. And uh, hopefully you guys can see me in some way as a, a catalyst to change in your life too. That's gonna help uh, uh, move things forward in some way.
Yeah, how's the uh, where's the full stack headed from here? What are the goals for the full stack? Uh, I've had a little bit of a uh, uh, an adjustment in uh, in focus. Um, I was talking to my partner this morning, went for a nice long walk today. I started an exercise program not long ago as well, and I'm three weeks in, and, and I'm working every day, and I'm, I'm flat out. I'm actually a little bit hot in here because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the middle of summer here in Australia. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I like to talk with her about this stuff because uh, she has uh, a lot of insights um, into uh, people who have gone through difficult times. Um, just as a part of her work, and uh, I, uh, my, my, the, the goal of the full stack initially was to find out what people's purpose is and help them find purpose in their lives, um, which I think is uh, you know a, a, an excellent, um, an excellent thing to discover you know for yourself. Um, but one of the things that I realized with that is that it's always changing, um, and now. I use an analogy of uh, of a boat. I don't know if you know anything about uh, about navigating the seas, but uh, oftentimes a boat will head off in a certain direction, and then the wind or the tide or the uh, the currents will shift it off course. And so they go in a certain direction for a, a set amount of time, then they'll take another reading, and then they'll adjust course so that they continue heading. And what happens is that they end up sort of zigzagging towards their their target, and they never travel in a, in a completely straight line. Uh, and of course, if they see an obstacle, then they have to, you know, veer around it and so on. Um, and so I use that analogy to describe uh, what I think is um, uh, a good approach to setting targets and working towards them is that when you drive, when you head towards uh, your goal, you'll make progress. You know, you put in some effort, you'll uh, you get a little bit closer to where you want to be. And during that process, it changes who you are because you've obtained some experience and, and some knowledge. Uh, you've changed your location. You've moved forward to a new position. So you're different and your location is different. And then you have to take another bearing and find out exactly where you want to go. You might have even changed your mind and go, I don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> I know more about what I want to do now. And I want to go that way. And so... Uh, your purpose and your goals will always evolve. So I'm trying to narrow this down into, you can see that, right? <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. narrow this down into a finer point. Uh, I, I wrote some notes this morning, actually. Let's see what I can. Uh... That's a great analogy with the boats. <laughs> if you like that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great analogy. Yeah. And there's, um, you know, there's other elements to all this stuff as well, because, I mean, wherever we find ourselves, we are there because of a lot of the things that have happened in the past. And that's made us who we are and in the location that we are. And we, you know, we still need to work forwards to the future. So um, that's that's a whole life perspective. It could be just in your particular field's perspective, maybe in, in your study toward the exams or, uh, you know, learning an instrument or something like that. I um, mean, I still love Led Zeppelin. Now I'm more, you know, Skid Row or whatever. You know, it's, I'd still all love that whole uh, hard rock heady stuff, but um, I'm getting off track. Uh, so I was coming back to yeah, um, I guess the essence of that then becomes. Uh, Um, and yeah, again, forgive me, man. I'm just going back through my notes because I wrote some really cool phrases and words down as you find it. I might edit this bit. What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like what narrowing down what it is. Yeah, it is. And like I said, man, I'm still working through this. Um, I, I really do want to uh, uh, make it really quite specific because at the end of the day, if it's too broad, uh, then uh, you, know, you can only. You, you can't focus it. You can't pinpoint exactly what it is that you're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how do you know when something's, is there a sure way to know that you are on your purpose slash passion? You are on the right track? Well, look, if there's any better, um, feedback loop in system in your body that, 
than the way that you feel. I don't know what it is. And you probably, you know, having some understanding about the way, you, you know, your human body works. Um, the way I felt this morning after three weeks of doing my ex exercise programming uh, and, uh, you know, after, you know, I had, I had a, a crappy relationship breakup about six months ago and decided this is it. I've got to change. Something's got to change. And from then on, you know, I've been working pretty diligently towards doing a, uh, you know, building a better life for myself. And if the way I felt this morning is any judge, I'm doing it right. So I think that that's probably a pretty good litmus test for whether or not you're on your, on target. Um, that being said, I think that uh, the essence of what I want to offer people is um, how to get unstuck from where you're at. And so a lot of people, I think, have these ruts that they get in, whether it's, like I said uh, earlier, a, a relationship that's not working out well and they're stuck. For some reason, they don't know what to do or, or maybe they're in, in a course of study and they, they just seem to be floundering and spinning their wheels. They try harder and harder and harder, but they just don't seem to get anywhere. Um, uh, or they're building a business um, and that's not working out too well. Uh, or they've built 15 businesses and they're still struggling. That's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just, there's a lot of experience here, man. Um, so I think getting unstuck is a skill. Um, finding that, uh, like I think you, you said, or you didn't say this exactly, but I could see when you were talking about your um, your the insight that you had when you were partying, you were going, there's no long-term value in this. You know, but over here I can work and it's difficult, but I will feel good about it. I will have that. And so this little fire lit up inside you. Yeah. And you were like, I'm pumped, man. I gotta do this. And and it it uh and you fueled that in some way. You know, you fed it with those little feedbacks of the successes that you have, those little successes that create uh, you know, those little one percent uh mm -hmm. experiences that uh help you feel better about uh the hard work that you're doing um, yeah, I'm, it's I'm, like a yeah, yeah it's like can, a you feel good and it's just like this fire that's lighting under your ass and just telling you to go 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 taste yeah. success go go you know yeah yeah and and um i, I love that feeling you got to run with it when you get it like uh you know, I think uh, people go, you know, exercise, when people are exercising, they get a runner's high and they just want to keep running, man. Or at the gym, you lift something, you go, man, I can lift that. I'm going to lift more. Um, uh, and I guess, uh, you know, other things when you're studying, I used to do quite a bit of web development as well and I used to love it. Um, you'd get the job done and people would talk to you on the phone and they'd ask you the questions and then you'd give them the answers and they'd go, oh, so glad you're here. I, I don't know what I would have done if you weren't. Um, it's impressive. And I'm like, you know, I kind of just Googled it and I, kn I knew all this stuff because I've been doing this for a while and they're just yeah. so impressed and you're just like, I love it. Um, so you can get a buzz out of being, being good at that. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that people just don't quite have enough confidence in the things that they already know, but they don't think they know enough, you know. Um, but there's definitely people out there that they can help with the knowledge that they have. Um, and I think that that's what you're doing as well. You're helping people with the knowledge that you've got through the experiences that you had and, uh, you know, pay it forward, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> that's it in a nutshell. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> it's going to evolve. This is the thing. In, in two weeks, I'll probably go, oh, this way. Oh. Exactly. Another, another win. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? But in, in the meantime, I really do need to knuckle down and, and um, you know, get really disciplined start making some content and, and videos and producing some things. I might even just snippet that bit out and put it up on a, a video. That sounded pretty good. <laughs> oh, like, oh, like little, little snippets of the interview and then make it on another video? Yeah. And, you know, and that's, that's, that's one of the things. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of the things I idea. thought would be a pretty good idea is because, I mean, like I asked you that question earlier about, um, you know, what drives you, what motivated you, or, or what was the catalyst to change for you? What, what caused you to make a, a different um, you know, make yourself have a different life. Uh, and that's a really, uh, that's a really valuable insight for somebody who's stuck. Um, so I could snip at that and maybe put a, a, some narration over the top of it or a little bit at the front, a little bit at the back or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's that the discipline, the rationale, just no, I'm going to say no emotion, but just straight, you know, you have to get it done. So just go and do it. Don't even think twice, go yeah. do it. 
stoic yeah. quick as like yeah stoic basically stoic the more yeah, stoic, the more, yeah, yeah. the more you can get done yeah. it's like that once yeah. i implemented that then it was just work 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 win work 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 another win another win another win Twelve thousand, just like that in a month. And I was like, "All right, <laughs> awesome." <laughs> it's it just like that. Just uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so you've got some work to do with um, the rest of the course as well. Um, uh, how did you find? I'm going to ask you, man. I'm just like I said, I'm going to pick your brain a little bit on on some of these things. You've um, you've gone through the. There's, a, there's a, a module which has a lot of the scripting uh, for your sales conversations, your sales calls and so on. When you went through that, um, did you write up your own script for your, your own phone calls? I haven't finished myself. So yeah. Yeah. Every part I took his document, put it on a Google doc and then just erased the, uh, the dating parts yeah. of it, the relationship parts of it and put it in the MCAT words, every single part. I just, and there were some parts where I would notice that on my sales calls, you know, I would like drag out a certain transition to the close or drag out to a certain transition to, you know, the discovery phase and all this. So I knew I had to make it a little shorter, make it a little shorter right. because of just how my clients were, you know, I, I took, yeah. I took the script, but this, the, everything about the script, I took it and made it into MCAT form, but I just had to take out some extra uh, yeah. There. That's it. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I went through another sales process not long ago and, uh, and somebody had obviously used a script to do their, uh, their sales call. Look, at the end of the day, I was going to buy this stuff, whatever it was. I, I knew what, I knew what it was and I wanted it. Um, but the sales call went too long, you know? Yeah. Uh, I know I used to do a bit of sales. I remember once going to a, um, a job interview and the, the fellow, you know, I don't know, it's a classic old, uh, you know, seventies, uh, question sell me this pen oh yeah and, yeah, and, yeah and you're supposed to go in all the features and benefits i took the pen off the guy and i said how would you like to pay for that sir <laughs> and he's like no you gotta sell it to me i said well you just told me you want to buy it why would i uh why would i drag this out any longer than it needs to be <laughs> yeah how much you want it's this much yeah. that's it it's 10 bucks how would you, how would you <laughs> like to pay for it um so yeah, I think it's great. You should tailor it to your to your own clientele, and even on the fly as well. If you've got a guy who says, "Yeah, man, I'm I'm ready. Let's go," um, you know, get your credit card out. <laughs> let's do it. Um, also, then you've got, um, and I don't want to drag this out too long either because we we're going to wrap it up in a second ago. But I just thought of something else. Uh, you've got your um, uh, your business uh, your business's purpose. Uh, and, and I guess a statement, uh, what, what do we call it? A mission? A mission yeah. or a... Um, the movement. The, yeah, the movement and, and, and so on. I mean, I know Casey starts with every video. He goes, you know, oh, this is, you know, this is Casey, for those of you who don't know me, uh, you know, this is the wealth and, and masculinity movement and so on. Um, what's, uh, you know, what's the essence of, of your movement? Have you, I mean, or even just your... I can't think of the word. It's driving me mad. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, so I'll say in almost every video, like, hey, guys, Eric, in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to study for the MCAT and get your target score, you know, in 12 weeks or less. This is how you do it. And then my, I'd be like, um, I want a mission to make sure that you guys are inspired to lead and lead to inspire. So meaning, like, I am here doing my mark, leaving my mark in the world, inspiring you guys to do well. Then you guys that are inspired to do well, you guys go lead and inspire others to do well as well. Yeah. So it's just constant, yeah. I'm inspiring you, you go yeah. inspire those below. You know, it's like, I'm yeah. on top and I'll help you, I'll pick you up, help you, pull you up. on top yeah. of my level. And then somebody on top of us is gonna bring us up and we all just move up together. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's fantastic, man. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything better. Yeah, excellent work. Um, I'm going to, I'll tell you honestly, I'll be watching this video again myself just to get some more of the insights that you shared today, man. Um, yeah, it was a great, it was a great interview. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> and we didn't even script any of that. I loved it. Um, all right, buddy. Uh, I'll stop the video recording now um, and uh, I'll just have a quick chat, man. All right.